This is my new 220 gallon freshwater turtle and fish tank, mostly South American cichlids. It's a southern painted turtle over here. Male. There's my female northern diamondback terrapin. A little bit of a glare over here. A Mississippi map turtle. Uh, this is a temporary setup uh, with the hoses over here. This is my Fluval FX5. Um, I had to put it in front of the tank uh, because I want, I want to put it over to the side, but um, I have this tank over here right now. Uh, that's uh, 40 gallon um, with uh, baby diamondback terrapins, a couple months old. and a baby loggerhead musk. But back to the reason why I'm making this video. Um, just wanted to show off my new 220 gallon. I made uh, a 3D background that's uh, artificial plants back there. There's my, uh, my bleakery cichlid. Beautiful looking fish. Get up close. Um, but I have uh, artificial plants that I glued to the back glass because I wanted to make it more realistic than just a, a picture. And uh, my fish uh, seem to like it. There's a big chocolate cichlid. He's about 10 or 11 inches. I'm sure he loves it in here. Love that fish. Peaceful fish. Loves to eat, as you can tell. And there's another chocolate. Uh, this one's about uh, seven inches. Uh, hopefully they'll breed. I think it's a male and female. That's a red spotted severum, silver dollar, green severum, and I have another green severum in here somewhere. Oh, there he is behind the chocolate segment. Uh, it's very similar to the setup in my 135 gallon. Uh, except for the um, the background that I made, and uh, obviously it's a bigger tank. There's my shallow water platform over there. Now I mentioned I have a Fluval FX5, but that's only part of the filtration. Underneath we have, it's kind of hard to see, but this is a sump. Um, and... I have a return pump over here. It's pretty powerful, really powerful actually. Over there is the um, return uh, return pipes, the overflow box, and there's a second overflow box in return on this side. So this tank uh, has a ton of filtration. The sump could handle this tank on its own, but these fish are used to the beneficial bacteria that I have in my Fluval FX5. So I wanted to keep that. I wanted to keep that going so that they could get used to it. Also, when I transferred these fish, I used uh, mostly tank water from the 135 gallon that they were living in. So it has about uh, three fourths of the tank water that was in that tank and the rest is tap water with the dechlorinator and, and aquarium salt. Right here is my diamondback terrapin still hanging out in the back. And a gold gourami. I'll show you what I built up here. Uh, I built this um, canopy so that my turtles can't climb out and uh, that way I can fill the tank all the way up and uh, not have to worry about any turtles climbing out. There you see my my southern painted turtle. My southern painted turtle did climb out one time so 
when he was in the 135 gallon, so I built a canopy for that one, and I thought, well, I better do the same thing for this one. So he was very lucky. I found him. Um, he was all tucked inside his shell, and my dachshunds were using him as a play toy and nosing him around. And luckily, he <laughs> had all of his limbs attached. So <laughs> very happy about that. <laughs> So the tank is seven feet long, but the canopy is eight feet long. And I did that because I wanted to create a basking area that hangs off instead of covers up some of the top. Right, there's my three stripe mud turtle hanging out in some of the, um, I have some fake branches that are glued. Uh, to the glass uh, next to the plants and among the plants. They love to hang out on top of them. This is a, a, a basking dock that I'm using as a ramp. And um, I glued it down to my, uh, my beach and I just put a rock on top of it to weigh it down, some extra, some extra weight. I'm going to put some sand up here so it's like a natural beach environment. I have some liner in here. And um, then over here, this tank came with a large glass area in the center. So I decided, hey, let's make it into another uh, basking dock. So I have another ramp right here. And I put this piece of felt over the center so that the turtles won't cut themselves because it's, it's a little sharp. That is a center um, notch that sticks up. I have a big piece of slate, and then, that's really bright, sorry, and then another ramp leading up from this side, so they can get up from multiple sides. Oh, here's my loggerhead musk turtle. This is my first turtle. And she has the best temperament of any turtle. Just gets along with everybody. Minds her own business. Great turtle. I'd like to breed her at some point in the future. Close my cabinets. The only thing about this sump is it's um it's so powerful that it's kind of loud. All right, I don't mind. This tank is seven feet by two feet by two feet. Two hundred twenty gallon tank, probably probably two hundred ten gallons of water or so. Show you the width along the side over here. See, it is a pretty wide tank, so everybody has tons of space. We're getting additional driftwood in here in the future, but the driftwood from the old tank will do for now. In the back, you can see my overflow boxes and PVC piping that carries the return flow. This glass, see how thick that glass is? It's half inch thick glass. Practically bulletproof. Well, I'll make some more videos now that I finally have my new tank set up and um, as I make more changes to it I'll keep everybody updated.
I'm sure you're uh, on the edge of your seats. So we'll close off by saying goodbye to my Diamondback Terrapin, which is getting pretty big. overhead shot here. Oh, guess you can't see her. All right, good night.